I guess that's a proper apology if I'm asking very similar questions. No, certain, no, you have to. Uh, certain uh, questions yeah, that you yeah, probably yeah, answered yeah, a minute ago, yeah. whenever you want. Yeah, yeah, so. But yeah, so Frank, what what was what was the major factor in you deciding to do the film? What sort of, what what made you think oh, this is something I can't what, miss? The I mean, journey of doing? I'd been directing in television and had some success and won some prizes, and then I was trying to do a film. I was writing a gangster movie at the time, uh, you know, and uh, and then out of the blue, this offer came. There'd been a lot of publicity about dummy, this drama I'd made uh, on television, and then people had seen the film, and I think Alan Parker and um, David Putnam suggested me for quad. And uh, out of the blue, they said, You want to do this film? And I, well, I knew the who, and I I'd seen them live and thought, okay, I'll give this a go. The gangster movie script was not going as quickly as I'd like it to go. So I said, sure. And uh, and then I just, and I wanted to make my first film, obviously. I, as a director, I'd been to film school, I'd worked for the BBC. Now I wanted to make a film. And this one presented itself, and I thought, I, I, I can do this. And also, the other thing, I made mean, there are lots of factors, but I was 18 in 1964. The film was about an 18 year old boy in 1964. So I knew the territory, I knew the characters, you know, even though I'm from the north, the northern mods and the southern mods were quite similar. So I could bring a lot of my own experience and my stories into the script. Okay. And, and I mean, Leslie, I'd imagine that afterwards your, it drastically changed your life from there on in terms of being recognised. And did you think? Did you have any idea at the time how much of an impact it was going to have? And well, it was, it was really weird because I was modelling at the time. I, I trained to be an actress and I had done a few things but couldn't get a job. And I fell into modelling and started making a name for myself in modelling, doing commercials. I actually worked with Ridley Scott, Adrian Lyon, and a lot of people. And then I went to this casting for Quadrophenia and well, it took absolutely weeks and weeks and weeks going for screen tests and everything. When I got it, it was fantastic when it came out. I was really sort of like expecting, you know, for instant fame, you know. And to be honest, it was actually quite quiet after it came out. It was only till it was then re-released, and that is when you know I, I really realised that I had been in an incredibly enormous movie and started getting. You know, noticed in the streets and things like that and it's now as time has gone on decades have gone on they had like conventions you go to conventions and you see the, you know how much they love this film i mean mods come from scooter clubs you know, they come dressed up i mean they absolutely love this film it's great that's good you speak about convention am i right in thinking that you're about to do a q a thing in ibiza yeah, we are, uh, yeah. during the literary festival. So it must be yeah. quite amazing that you're still getting <coughs> calls to go here, there and everywhere, all across the world, and that this film is still... Absolutely across the world. I, mean, I remember going to LA when it was in, on, on the Hollywood Boulevard, that, that Chinese Broadway. The Grimmers Theatre, yeah, yeah. And they had subtitles, because no one could understand the Cockney accent. But, uh, and, and I went to Denmark when it opened there, and, and all sorts of places. So it, it's been really successful all over the world. And so, I mean, you, you just think, obviously, kids go through exactly the same thing. No matter where you live, they must all go through the same sort of angst, which is depicted in the film. Yeah, and, and, and for you, um, Frank, you, so to get the authenticity did, did you speak to a number of real mods and rockers to, to make sure that you were kind of doing things properly? I mean look as I say I didn't need to rehearse this film or research it because I lived it I, I all my mates were mods you know I was, I was the best man at two mod weddings you know I wasn't a mod myself but I knew mods and I knew mod girls and I so I knew the whole thing the music and the dance and everything so in a sense that it, 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 it was easy I didn't have to do much research in that respect but, um, you know, I know you're talking you know, about how it spread, the film was spread. You know, I, I was, we was a screening in, in Brighton about 20 years ago, and it was, and I came out and I had a press conference afterwards, and then I came out of the back of the theater into an alleyway at about midnight, and as I came out of the alleyway, this huge guy came up to me, like, you know, it was like a horror movie, and like a zombie walking towards me. 
oh shit, and he said, I just want to tell you, you saved my life, this film saved my life, I was going to, he's obviously going to kill himself and he decided, so the film he decided not to. There's been a lot of that about the film, it's like strange characters, I saw a taxi driver in New York said, I've seen it 200 times. Mm -hmm. So you get this weird, you know, atmosphere around the film as well, so, you know, it, it's kind of, it's kind of strange and wonderful for us, I must say. Okay, sure. Last one. You, I mean, you talked obviously about how you all still get on, still keep in touch. Um, I know Sting was on the video, um, but does Sting and Pete Townsend still come to any of the sort of reunion stuff? Or we, they... had a, we, went, we did a thing for the Teenage Cancer Trust, uh, organised by The Who, and Pete was there and Sting was there. And it was really nice yeah, to see all you were there and, and, uh, we, and Phil. And it was really nice to see, because we all see Sting so often, you know, because he's, he's moving around. I did another film with him. And, and you know we we, we, uh, we see each other at airports and things like that, but uh, we don't see him very often. So it was really great that he turned up for the for this event. Excellent, thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you. Pleasure to meet you.